Can you please tell me your name and your position here? What's that? Could you please tell me your name and your position at the state house? No? Hey guys, this is Will here for Demand the Truth. Again, collaborating with Auditing America. We are in Boston, Massachusetts, downtown crossing Washington Street, and we are going to audit a few places. We're gonna start at the Boston State House. There's a protest and a counter protest there. Then we're gonna go see what the Scientologists are up to, as well as the Freemasons. So we're gonna be auditing all throughout the way and a couple other stops too. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. We just have standing room over to the left here. Thank you, thank you. You're going to be testifying. Today? I guess the, uh, the people over here, this dude behind you and a few of these guys are, are senators and reps, so maybe we could talk to a few. Yeah. The that I want is So I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> back to work. Can I help you? I'm sorry, can I help you? Yeah, there's no seats over there. They're already taken. You find there's a lot of people standing, right? There's a lot of people standing, right? Yeah, standing room's taken too. People are over this side. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. What's your name? Paul. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> okay. I had no place in Kenny Buck for 10 years. You know, I just got bumped into it. So, I don't know what you're going to do. Why? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people over here. Outside stuff. They're going to have a hearing now. Yeah, everybody's in here for their hearing. Do you want to walk around? Why? Is it here? They come from the middle. Yeah, let's walk around. Um, in here or outside? Outside. All right, let's go. Let's get outside. Let's get outside. Then we'll come back in, too. All right. Good. Thank you for your service. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. See here, the problem, the problem is, uh, I don't know if I'm going to know if I'm going to I know, this is a different place. I mean, those people are serious, but I'm just like running through my head like, okay, what would I ask them? What would I think? Uh, let's start at the top. How are you? I'm sorry, are you, you're on the phone? Hi, could you please tell me um, your name and what you guys do in this office here? <laughs> Come back? All right, no problem, thank you. Come back later. Come back later. She's on her cell phone. That might give you a fireball offense right there. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Um, just walking around the building. Would you be able to tell me your name and what do you guys do in this office? Who are you? I'm just working on a story. For what? About the, about the state house. No, that you work for a newspaper or something? I'm just independent. Oh, oh, I don't want to be filmed. You're not going to film me, right? Um, why not? <laughs> I don't like, I don't like. Well, your hair looks really good. No, I don't like the way I come out in pictures. You can't film me. 
Oh. Go talk to somebody else. <laughs> I oh. can't be on a camera. That's fine. I'll, I won't interview you then. Can you just quickly tell me what, what you well, guys doing? This is um, Ways and Means Committee. So anytime any bills, any, every year they have to pass the budget, which is, I don't know how many billions of dollars. And everything, all the bills with any monetary value come through Ways and Means. And they, you know, work on it. That's what they, we do here usually all year. And then okay. the end of July, it has to be passed. Okay. You know, they all have to vote on the budget. The Senate, the House, then the governor. Okay, cool. But um, if you want, like, a real detailed... Um, Maybe go online? On, yes, but even at the, um, way down there at the tour desk, they have these little pamphlets and they, they kind of explain everything. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Thank you so much. Sorry. You take care. Have a good day. What you got there? Coffee? I do have coffee. Good, yes. good. Perfect. <laughs> have a good one. Hold on. How's it going, ma'am? Good, good. Um, just walking around the building, taking pictures. Would you be able to tell me your name and what you guys do in this office? Uh, what? No. No? No. Why? My picture taken. That's why. I mean, I, there's not a problem with that because we we're in a public building. There's the people's building. We have freedom of the press. Right. So I'm just working on a story. That's fine. But um, are you a public employee? I'm a state employee. So, so yeah, you work in the in. There's no assumption of privacy in in your public uh, capacity I'm not right now. My picture. I do have rights, so you're not taking my picture. Well, it is your right to take a picture in public. No, Did you know that? You don't get to take pictures if someone, <laughs> no, not a me or not, no. Well, I already did, but no problem, ma'am. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to go ahead and keep walking, take some more pictures, but you are a public employee. You work for the public. There's no law that says you can't video record in public because we have freedom of the press. Well, I have rights too, so. Yes, but, just but. Go ahead. I'm, I'm, I wouldn't I'm be by. I'm call the Rangers, okay, because I'm telling you I don't want my picture taken. Ma'am, why, why would you call the Rangers over a constitutionally protected right? Well, I have rights too, have no Yes, but I'm, 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 of course you do, but, yeah. but I'm not violating any of your rights. Well, then if people have agreed to it, I have a right to say no. So that's part of Well, my yeah, right you have the right to say whatever you want, right. but, but not to, you know, we're just working on a story. We're not well, from around. Okay, we, we don't have fine. any bad intentions. That's just keep fine. that in mind. Have a good one, ma'am. Yeah, you too. Yep, fail number two. By the way, that's crazy. What do you think? That's, uh, he, I'm glad you're doing it because these people think that they don't work for us. They think that they work for like some rich, stuffy lobbyists that don't care about their rights, but they work for us. Uh, and they forget that all the time. It's really sad. Yeah. Uh, I, you know what? I'm get, I was getting to the point where I'm like, I stay out of half of these audits, but I'm about to just like jump in and be like, no, like call the damn rangers. Like, what the hell? Yep, yep. I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, see. I'm not trying to confront them right now. How polite have you been I'm, every single time? I'm, I'm just Extremely doing a test. Cordial. I'm trying to see if they say recording is okay or recording is not okay. She just said that video recording her, it's a violation of her rights. Take a look when, at this in fact, dome while you're here as well. she's wrong. You want to smile for the camera? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. Good, good. Where are you from? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Me too. What part? Arecibo. Arecibo. I'm from Bayamón. Bayamón está cerca. Está bueno. How long have you lived here in Boston? Yo, I've been in Boston for 48 years. 48 years? Are you recording? Yeah, I'm just working on a story on the building and everything, you know. Nothing much. Just going around the What's offices. I'm Enrique. Enrique que? Torre. Torre. Sí. ¿Y aquel también? Sí, estamos claro, estamos, estamos hablando en la oficina del gobernador y estamos tratando de hacer un appointment para venir a, tú sabes, hacerle un videíto. ¿Tú vives aquí o en no, Puerto Rico? No, no, no. Yo, yo siempre estoy viajando, haciendo, yo tengo un canal. Oh, so, ¿Cuál es el canal tuyo? Auditing America. Oh, qué bueno. Está pues, bueno. Me hablaron de ese canal. Sí, ¿qué te hablaron? Que... Muévelo para el lado. ¿Qué pasa? Están... Ustedes son los que se le meten a todas las oficinas del gobierno. A todas las oficinas. Sí. Pero sin hacer nada malo. No, no, no. Está bien. ¿Tú me entiendes? Estamos Porque nos, en un país. nos sacan los taxes de nosotros, ¿me entiendes? Para pagarle a ellos. Sí. So, nosotros estamos asegurando que, el, que la gente está. Que el gobierno no, no, nos está. Tú me vas a poner a mí en el. En el eh, 
Sí, pero tú estás siendo completamente respetuoso y yo te estoy respetando. Bueno, yo también, ¿eh? Y tú sabes que usualmente yo no doy mi nombre a nadie, pero como tú, tú sabes, tú eres respetuoso, pues yo te, yo te dije mi nombre. Ese es mi nombre. Bonilla. Bonilla, muchas gracias por tu servicio. Ok. okay. De nada. Sí, ok. Good, good. Um, can you please tell us what you guys do in this office and your name, please? Yeah, my name is Crawley Swazo, and this is the Education Committee. Education Committee? Yes. And what, what, what type of things uh, do you guys handle? Um, let me get the right person to answer. All right, no problem. No problem, thanks. What's your name? I'm Enrique. Enrique? Yeah. Okay. You're very nice. Oh, thank you. Hi. Hi, can I help you? How are you? Nothing. We're just walking around the building, making, working on a story. We just wanted to know what you guys do in this office over here. If you could please briefly explain sure, to me. I prefer not to be recorded, though. Why not? I just don't want to be recorded. It's, it's part of my story. How am I going to then, publish it? Then thank you very much for stopping by. I mean, are you a public employee? Uh, yes, but I'm not an elected official. That's fine, but this is. I just, I'm just asking not to be recorded. You have but, to get my consent to record me in Massachusetts. That's not, all. not, not in public. This is in a pub. The public is outside. This is in a pub. The public is outside. This is a public building. This is the people's sure, building. I just really don't want to be recorded. But I, otherwise, I understand. I understand, but you do know that this is the people's building. Uh, you, sure. I can't record you on a on a private establishment. Sure. Where I'm in a but public I'm not, lobby, I'm, sure. and. I'm just, look, dude, I don't want to, if you, all, all I wanted to know is real quick, what do you guys do in this office and we'll be on our way. That's okay, it. but I don't want a camera in my face. All right, so no problem. Thank I you, will no. just, we'll just leave. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> just remember, dude, you work for the public. You can't just tell people to leave over cameras. I'm not telling you to leave. I'm just saying I don't want to be recorded. That's all I'm saying. But telling me not to record is like telling me I can't speak because it's a constitution. It's not the same yeah. Thing. yeah, because it's a constitutionally protected right. Freedom of the press, First Amendment. Freedom of speech, okay. freedom of religion, you know? All I'm saying is I don't consent to be recorded. That's all I'm saying. That's fine. No problem. I'll just leave. Right, thank but you. you shouldn't say that. <laughs> How it going? Why? You, you, no, it doesn't make a difference whether you consent or not. The fact is that you're in a public place, in a public building, and there's no expectation of privacy. You doesn't, he's being nice by walking away, but he has every single right to film you as long as he wants. That's not true. Yeah. No, it absolutely is. It We're is. In a public lobby, a, a, a publicly funded place, in a public lobby in the state house, which is paid for by our tax money. I, under, I yeah. understand the public forum. Yes. I, I went to law school. Okay. Also, you should know. First Amendment. What but trumps the Constitution? Right to, I also have a right to not be recorded. Not in public. So, well, I'm not, not in not public. In public. <laughs> you are. In public. Is this not a public building? You are. I just really don't <laughs> want to be on camera. I, 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 just put I, it down? I understand. Well, but I, if you've, come if on, we're working want, on a story. Let me ask you one more question, right? No. <laughs> well, you don't want to be on camera, but there's... Thank you. What, what difference is all the cameras here? All the cameras are on the street corners. All the cameras are on the NSA. You I don't care no. about the NSA spying on you, but once a, uh, once a, a Latin youth wants to bring up his camera, you have uh, upset. Are you racist? What, what's the deal with that? Because there's cameras all over there. Do you, you don't have a problem with those cameras. Why do you have a problem with his camera? I'm just working on a story. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. We're just, we, we just wanted to know what you guys do. You guys work for the public. You know, you're just asking a simple question. <laughs> and the bottom line is you work for we're, us. You're in a building that's paid for us. We were not being rude to you. you you're, I didn't think you were. Okay. We'll be on our I way. But just remember, this is, this is the First Amendment. We're here in the United States. There's cameras everywhere. Freedom Don't of the press. At, we, it's like paparazzis, mad, you know? Get mad at the NSA first. Let's get the NSA out of listening to everything we do. Then you can worry about some guy with the cameras. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you. Have a good one. You're very nice and pretty too. You are the best public employee I've ever met. You know, she identified as soon as I walked in. She didn't have a problem with the camera. That's the way that you should that you should do it. Literally so, the best one I've ever met. My if life. he's your boss, you might end up. <laughs> she's yeah. gonna take your spot, dude. Do you have a card so I can call somebody about your excellent service or something? Oh, I don't. I'm sorry. Okay. That's fine. We'll okay. just we'll definitely follow we'll, up. We'll we'll leave a a good review on you. And you know, you're not a bad guy. You're just misinformed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and leave. How's it going? Thank you guys. All right. 
I'm a lawyer, so I know. Oh, well, guess what? I'm not a lawyer, and I know the Constitution, right. so. That's a, that's a, are you recording? Yeah. So this, uh, keeping with the theme of the occult symbolism, as you can see, that is a phoenix. That is not an eagle. And you know the difference. You actually can see a phoenix and an eagle separately here. So it's just interesting. The United States flag is not a phoenix, but why do we have that symbol there? It's an occult symbol, so. If I give you a name, could you try to do it by the name? She stands in front of me, so if she gives you your, her social security number, could you help her? I mean, she's in front of me. Yeah, yeah we'll be back. She's going to give personal information. I wouldn't want that recorded. We'll be right back to that office. State reps. Is this it? They're all not going to be in the summertime. The only state reps that we're going to have is for is senators. Is going to be down in the uh, in that room right now where they're having a hearing. All right. <clears throat> so we're definitely going to at least stop back there probably. How's it going, sir? How are you? Are you, are you a police officer? No. No? Okay. Are you a state employee? You are? Can you please tell me your name? I'm just walking around taking pictures. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. There's like no light here, bro. How are you? Hey. How's Hopefully it going, sir? The governor's office on, please? Third floor. Third floor. Can you please tell me your name and your position here? What's that? Could you please tell me your name and your position at the state house? No? Are you a state employee? Just a quick question, sir. I'm not. Yeah, you recorded me. I don't want that. What about the cameras that are all over this building and the NSA spying on everybody? This is the First Amendment constitutionally protected right. Aren't you a public servant? What's that? What about the NSA and the cameras everywhere? Isn't yeah, this a constitutional right? But they're not talking and asking me questions. Yeah, but isn't your job as a public servant to answer questions from the public? Yes, yeah, not being recorded and answer questions. Well, you're in public. It's nothing illegal. It's, this is I, a, I prefer not to be well, recorded. And answer questions I understand. as I'm being recorded. You didn't but, ask me to record me and answer questions. I understand, but do you have any problem with the fact that. I have a problem. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. The fact that. Wh why do you have a problem with his camera, but not the cameras around here, the security cameras, the cameras, the NSA spying on everything we do, the body cameras, the cameras in all the corners, the traffic cameras? Why do you care about his camera, not those cameras? You don't have a problem with these cameras that are just watching you right now while well, listening and talk to everything you do. The NSA listened to everything that you do. He was just saying, hey, I asked you for help, and he just wanted your name and your... I gave you the... I answered the question that you asked for directions. 
Are yeah, you? Do you understand how this fundamentally Could is? Can you turn a, your phone off, please, and stop recording? Me? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't mean to be rude, but we're Can just working on a story. Turn your camera off and stop recording. Would you tell mainstream media to turn their camera off? If we were channel five or six, would you tell them? Uh, we're gonna leave you alone, but the thing here is, you don't tell anybody I else. Ask you nicely to stop recording. What? Okay, have what's... you ever asked the NSA to stop recording you? Never once. You've never done that. You you only upset about a citizen with a camera, but yet when the government is out of control of cameras, you have a problem with that. Why? It's really sad because your one job is to uphold the Constitution. The First Amendment of the Constitution is freedom of speech, freedom of press, the freedom to peaceably assemble, and the freedom to worship however or not if you'd like to. And as a public servant, I think it's pretty upsetting that you won't answer his questions, but you have no problem with being filmed all day by all these other cameras. So that tells me, long story short, that he's not working for citizens. He's working for the NSA. He's working for the, the police state. He doesn't care about the citizens and the Constitution that he took an oath to. He would rather be complicit like the Germans in World War II. Just taking orders. This guy's just taking orders. And let's see, do you have a bad number? It, it's, your, it's your job. Are you covering up your badge? Sir. To, sir, that's illegal. It's your, it's, it's, your, it's your policy to identify. 905 to Fox 9, please. Oh my god, why would you need backup? Why would you need backup? We're just trying to interview you. I just want to name the badge <laughs> and then I'll move on. I've asked you nicely to stop recording me. This is a public you place. You haven't watched that. This, yeah, is, this is a public that's, place. It's not his job to do that. It's your job to answer to us. It's not your job to stop recording. Uh, backside on Fox 9, please. Right outside of 145A, right across from 145. Of A1, please. We're just working on a story about the Massachusetts State House. You're a state employee, correct? We don't mean any, we don't have any ill will, we don't have any bad intentions. I just wanted to know who you are. You, we were asking you for, for help. That's it, we could have been out of here, but it's a First Amendment protected activity. So you can't tell me, well, you, you could tell me whatever you want, but you shouldn't tell me to stop recording in a public place because we have freedom of the press. This is the people's building. You work for us. You work for the public. We're being extremely nice to you and you're, you're calling back up over us recording you, which is not a crime. You want to know something? We spoke, we spoke to two of your colleagues, co-workers, or whatever you call it. Everybody was extremely nice and, and told us their names, and we had no problems. You're the only one that, that is unwilling, pretty much. Question of directions. I gave you the question. Answered the question to your directions. I have not been nothing but nice. I asked you no, and, I, and I'm not saying you've been rude in any I way. You just said it wasn't nice. I well, it's not, it's not, it's not a matter of being nice or not. It's just a matter that, that you work for the public. We have the right to know who we're speaking with. No, it's batch number 905, uh, Department of Conservation Records. 401. 905. Backside of A1. You didn't know that? We have the right to know who we're speaking with. <laughs> If you work for the public, we can actually request that. We can actually request how much money you're getting paid. We can we can request the video cameras from it's in public here. Public knowledge, you can look it up online. That's that you're absolutely right. That's why I was just asking you. Jason, these two gentlemen came up there, asked directions Hi. to the governor's office. I'm sorry. Then they proceeded to record me and ask me questions about me, this and that. <laughs> All we asked him was for his name. I just want you to name it back. I asked him to stop recording me. They didn't give me permission to record me. They kept going on and on and on. They okay. didn't stop. 
they kept questioning me and I asked them nicely to stop recording me and they kept continuing, continuing, telling me that I, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. No, no, tell them exactly what we asked. All we asked was for directions to the governor's office. And I just asked them nicely to stop recording me. We have freedom of the press. We have freedom of the press. This is the people's building. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. So, nothing. So can you start from the beginning? Just sure. Happened? So we We're came over here. After, just please, one at a time. Yeah, go ahead. Bro. Go ahead. Came over here, asked him where the governor's office was. Started some small talk with them. Then before we left, we said, "Can we have your name and badge number?" So to cover up his badge, he didn't want to tell us, and says, "You guys get away from me." And I, he said, "You guys have, don't have a right to film here." And we politely told him, "Actually, we do." And mm -hmm. there's cameras all over here. The NSA has been spying illegally and constitutionally for years unchecked. Didn't have any problem with those cameras, body cameras. And now he wants to call back up because he just wants a public servant to give us his, uh, his name and his background. We actually spoke to other, other security or I don't know what, 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 what do you, you're a ranger. We spoke to other rangers. They were super nice to us. And he's like hiding something. And we, we just wanted to know who we were speaking with. That's it. Well, my name is Jason Smith. I'm the right. deputy chief ranger for the state house program. All right. uh, you guys do have a right to film within these public hallways, okay? And if you guys are looking for the governor's office, it's in room 360, or you guys can visit Constituent Services, which is 128. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you very much. Can can you, you, my badge right? number is badge number two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jason, Could you please I'm inform sure. him that we also have the right to know who we're speaking with? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk. We'll, we'll educate our team. No Thank problem. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right. And you weren't being rude. Neither were we. <laughs> we were just having a discussion about this. There was no need for, you know. Because we have a constitutional right to to record. Have a good one, sir. You too. Thank you. Luckily, he's in a union, so he won't get in trouble. But luckily for him, not for us. He's going to have a good talking to right now, and he's going to be educated about his rights, and that's why auditing does what it does. He's not in the and uh, hopefully that guy goes home and has a long, hard think about about his job and what his job means. Because when it was just Enrique and him and myself telling him something, he didn't want to hear it. But now that his boss is going to go over and say, hey, guess what? They have every right to film you. He's going to be like, ur, ur, ur. maybe he'll go home and look up the Constitution. I didn't agree. That's uh, fair. All right, you want to dip about it here? Hi, how's it going, ma'am? Can you please tell me your name and what you guys do in this office? This is the Committee of Mental Health and Substance, Substance Use and Recovery, and we deal with legislation that deals with the Department of Mental Health okay. and other. Okay, thank you so much. And your name? Ellen. Ellen, thank you very much. Have a good one. Ding, ding, ding. Pass. Pass. Ellen did real good. Poor, poor, that, that poor, poor Teresa girl had to work for that time. She was a sweetheart. <laughs> I know she looked really Puerto Rican, right? Hello? Hi, how's it going? Could you please tell me your name and what you guys do in this office? So these are our, this is our contact info, if you want to just collect this. Okay. So you've got um, Representative Crocker is in here, Representative Kearney, Representative Donahue. Is that what you're wondering? Uh, well, I had no clue what this office was about. It's so. an, it's a, are you, do you work here in the State House? No, I'm not from here. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm just walking around. <laughs> sure. So this is one of the legislative legislative offices okay cool. so it's uh, it is for these representatives mind if i take one of no, each? that's why i'm thinking you probably uh, just want to do that so you know who's available here and that's an aid okay okay so this is the representatives and their aides thank you very much You're i think it's very convenient that you got you guys have everyone's business cards right here in the front yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. And your and name? Your na I'm Katie. Katie? I'm and Enrique. Enrique. Enrique, okay. You have a good one, ma'am. Yep, and you Take know it. you can get um, info off of the Mass Legislative website. On the There's website. There's a directory there. Got it. With all the representatives <laughs> okay. in your offices. Thank yeah. you very much. You're very You're nice. Welcome.
How's it going? Good, how are you? All right. Just video recording everything in the, in the car. Are you a state employee? No. no? You don't work for the state house? No. You look like you work here. I don't. You also look like Mike. They ever told you that? No, don't look like <laughs> You look like Michael. <laughs> I swear. How tall are you, man? 6'3"? Yeah, he does look like Mike. So, listen, man, I apologize if you, if you, if you think I, you know, no, no, hurt I your just, feelings or anything. No, <laughs> you know, my I'm, feelings weren't hurt. I just, you know. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're very respectful, you know. We're not, we're just going around seeing if every, everyone is doing the correct thing, the right thing. We're, 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 we have the right to peacefully record anywhere we can see in a public area, uh -huh. especially in the... In the well, state this, house. Yeah, this is like a tourist destination. This is a, yeah, so. there's nothing but cameras around. Have you guys, um, we just filmed at the uh, Rhode Second Island. Second stop on the Freedom Trail. I'm sorry? Second stop on the Freedom Trail. Right. Yep. We, we, we did a lot of videos at the Rhode Island State House. They, at first, everybody hated our camera, but now we're more than welcome to, to do so because we're bringing awareness on, on freedom of the press. Well, the press is all in there. Do you guys go well, in? Well, we're... We're all, we all, we're all the press. We're, we're all, we all have the, the right to work on a story and, and publish it. It's a, constant, it's a First Amendment right. We have freedom of the press. So just because they, they have you know, press credentials or whatever, that means they work for somebody and somebody each issued them those credentials. But there's not an agency in the United States that just provides press credentials because it's a First Amendment right. We already, it's, you know, the Constitution already guarantees you Pretty much the, the First Amendment is your press credentials, <laughs> you know? Uh, but nothing. You guys have a good one. It was good talking to you. Thank you. All right. You too. I'm sorry. What are you filming for? Myself. <laughs> are you guys? Do you guys work for the state? What do you guys do here? What do you do? Oh, I'm I'm just a guy with a camera. <laughs> uh, yeah. You work for you work for the public, right? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's a nice costume you got there, officer. Have a good one. It's a nice costume. It's so funny how befuddled people are over a camera, but yet there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna interview him about his, his hat. Please talk to me. You'll see. How you doing, officer? Good, how you doing? Can you please tell me your name and your badge number? Sure, Trooper Valera, ID 3730. Good, good. Uh, you've always worked here at the State House? Uh, no, just uh, in overtime. Okay. Nice hat. What's that? This guy's very cordial and polite friendly. I dealt with him last time, I believe. Oh, yeah, he's very, he seems like a, you seem like a really cool guy. You, you identify yourself to me, you know? Usually they go, for what? I haven't had an interaction with you. How are you doing, brother? Hey, how are you? Hey, you subscribe? Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, officer, you're about to be on Auditing America, like he said. Um, just reached 100,000 subscribers. We just reached 100,000 subscribers. We have over 23 million combined views on our channel in about 11 months. Uh, we, we do, do with, First uh, Amendment audits. Government about accountability, police accountability, missing children under state care, radical care, a whole plethora of issues. Yes. Oh, yeah. I appreciate your service. And we're just looking out for the First Amendment right to film in a public area. I get you. We came over here, you know. Yeah, couple, it's not, I guess it's not, it's not I'm going to tell you, issue, this, is a, this, this was a 50 50. 50% 50 of the employees over here today failed the audit. You, as a police officer, you passed. So you're 
you, you're giving the Massachusetts, you're state police, right? State, you're giving the state police a good name. They failed at the airport, in Logan Airport. You might want to go check that out. It's on YouTube. It has like 220,000 views already. And like, yeah, they, they were claiming the airport is a private property because it's, what is it, Massport? Yeah, Massport. But, but, yes, but it's still, a public, it's still a publicly accessible place. It's the open for, tough, though. yeah, I mean, they failed terrible. Nowadays, now people mm -hmm. worry about stuff. In this day and age, huh? Yeah. That's, that's the thing that everybody tells us, but you have to remember that uh, people's fears don't trump our rights. We have the right to uh, free press. You're very good. Thank, Thank you, dude. You. Take care. Security for liberty will and get not will get and shall get neither, and that's unfortunately what we've had happen. We're practicing dangerous freedoms, guys. Dangerous freedoms. Over here at the State House in Boston, Massachusetts, I'm out with Will Turbot from Demand the Truth, and this is Auditing America. Please share, like, and subscribe. Get the earbuds. Hold on. How's it going, Trooper? Can I have your name and batch number, please? Fleming. Fleming, thank you so much. How long have you been a police officer? 34 years. 34 years, very good. How many bad guys have you caught? Uh, a few. <laughs> a lot? What about any bad cops? Uh, caught any bad cops? Yeah. No, Never. We'll In 34 years? Too. You got to yeah, work on that. Please do. But you're very friendly and polite. I appreciate it. Not oh, all yeah. cops are like that. So yeah. Thank you for upholding the Constitution. And if you see any bad cops, anybody disobeying the Constitution, Get on their butt. You want to say hi to Auditing America? Who? Auditing America. Say hi, Auditing America. Hi, Auditing America. Thank yeah. you very much. Have a great day, brother. You made Take, our day. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You see how nice that guy was? And guess what? People act like Enrique would just go... If Enrique hated cops, he would have just went up to those last two cops and said, Fuck you! I hate you, pig! I hope yeah. you die! No, he just said, Thank you for your service. Thank you for upholding the Constitution. My, you're friendly. Yep. Super good. Enrique just hates people that violate their oath to the Constitution. If we don't have freedom, we don't have anything. That's right. And I don't even hate them. I dislike them very, 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 very much. Please, guys, subscribe to Auditing American and demand the truth. Have a good one.